video, we are going to give you a tour of Ahu, Arizona. Come on, let's get started. Throughout the video, the correct pronunciation is Ajo, Arizona. Before we start the walking tour of Ahu, Arizona, I want to give you a brief overview. I'm using Google Maps for this portion of the video. In the center of your screen, this outline is Ahu, Arizona. And just south of Ahu, Arizona, is the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. It is a fantastic place, uh, very scenic. Melody and I have explored this area. We've been in the area twice now. There is free camping located uh, around Ahu on Bureau of Land Management land, but there's very few big rig friendly free campsites. So Melody and I prefer to camp down here about five miles from the uh, border with Mexico is the Twin Peaks campground. We did a video on that. There's not much down here other than the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Resupply will be in Ahu, Arizona, and this is why we're doing this video. Let me take you to a little bit closer look and let me blow it out just a little bit. You see there's the there's a mine here and we missed this the first time through. The new Corella mine. This is something to see. You can come up here to the mine lookout visitor center and also the Ahu Historical Society. Both are well worth checking out when you're in the area. There's also uh, the Lemon Bright Laundry Mat. We did laundry there. Melody would like that laundry mat. There's a Dollar General. There's a Family Dollar. Also, while you're here, check out the Cabiza Prita National Wildlife Refuge Visitor Center. A very well maintained facility. They have a nature trail there. We take you there in the video. And finally, there is a grocery store. the Olson Market IGA, and there's a Chevron right across the street. This is a really neat uh, town to explore. That's why we're doing the video. Hope you enjoy this walking tour of Ahu, Arizona. Let's get to the walk. One site you won't want to miss when visiting Ajo, Arizona is the Ajo Mine Lookout Facility. Very large parking area here. And wait till you see this lookout. It's completely free. They have a nice paved lookout area here. Melody and Milo are checking it out. So what do you think of this mine? It's pretty neat. Look how pretty the water is. Yeah, it is really clear water down there. I wonder how deep that is. If that building's open or not, I'll have to go check. I think that was a copper mine. I think the door is open on this building. I'm going to go see if there's anybody in there. It gives a story behind. Uh, what kind of mine this is. I believe it was a copper mine. This is a old photograph dated October 14th, 1945. And uh, there's a lady in the museum gave us a little tour. And you see there's railroad tracks, all these spirals going up as they dug the mountain down into the ground. They had all these uh, railroad tracks that spiraled up out of the mine to bring the uh, copper out. This was a copper mine. Some more photos. So I came back 
to take another look after we had went in the museum and got the history from that lady that's in there. Um, and you can see how all that's terraced and where the railroad tracks would have been. And, and she showed us pictures where these little train cars would spiral up out of the mine bringing the copper uh, out to be produced. Okay, so I'm outside of the mine lookout in that building. Uh, there is a museum just for the mine. Uh, the mine owns this mine lookout, but the lady that gave us the tour, very nice elderly lady, her husband worked here for over 30 years in this mine, and she said that this is um, made out of copper, this, she called it an adenoid, but it weighs 700 pounds, it was the last one made. They would fill railroad cars up with these and then ship them off so that the, the copper could be, you know, used uh, at, at different factories and whatnot. But very interesting uh, history. Uh, totally free, they do ask for a do donation, but well worth a visit if you're in Ajo, Arizona. After we finished up at the Mine Overlook, we came up to the Ajo Historical Society Museum, organized 1975. Let's go check it out. There are both indoor and outdoor exhibits. It looks like they have a, quite a few exhibits inside the museum as well. Let's go in and check it out. Tools, dentist chair, military uniforms. Hey, I have a few of those. Oh, I don't have one of these. World War One, it looks like. They even have an iron in here that you would put hot coals in. A lot of these tools came out of the blacksmith shop at the mine. And in the Ajo Museum, of course, they have photographs of the Ajo mine. Here's a picture of the pit, new Cornelia pit. March 1951, Cornelia, not Cornelius. Here's a photo of the Ajo smelter dated 1950. I believe this road here is the existing I-85. And you have this, this uh, piping that goes over the road. I believe that is still there. You're looking at Arizona Route 85. That's the pipe we just saw in the photograph. Uh, they left this pipe crossing the highway. It doesn't go anywhere, but they left it up to maintain the right of way in case the mine ever wanted to reopen. When visiting Ajo, Arizona, you have to stop in at the Cabriza Perita National Wildlife Refuge Visitor Center. They have a really nice nature trail at the rear of the visitor center. Visitor center is closed during the time of our visit, date and time of our visit. But we were here two years ago and the people in here were very helpful. Um, they do have some backcountry camping 
in the National Wildlife Refuge. But some good stuff to check out in that visitor center and the nature walk at the rear is worth uh, taking a walk through. Let me take you around the rear. So again, the visitor center is closed today, but this is the entrance right here. And even if it's closed, they have brochures and maps of the National Wildlife Refuge right outside of the front door here. Visitor center is back that way. And as you progress through the nature trail, it makes a big loop. There are plenty of storyboards. It takes you through some nice desert scenery. Well worth checking out. This is a really cute Spanish style plaza and uh, in the opposite direction of the plaza are these Spanish style churches. I believe that's a school at the end of the street. And the plaza makes a big square. You have a nice green area in the middle. There's a post office over to the left here. The train station, old train station, which now has a visitor center in it, is uh, right there in that building. And now we're going to take you over and show you some murals. They have some wonderful murals here in Ajo, Arizona. And here's the beginning of Artist Alley. You have to come see Artist Alley when you visit Ajo, Arizona. Artist Alley's a short walk from the Spanish style plaza. We really uh, enjoyed this walk that off to the left. That's a very colorful mural. We really enjoy, enjoyed that. And just up the street here, uh, you'll see one from the Federal Republic of Germany um, back when the, the two parts of Germany were still separated, Melody and I were, were over in Germany at that time. And then we really enjoyed these murals. There are murals scattered throughout the town, but Artist Alley is the place to go. Plaza is just off to the right up there. This is Artist Alley on the other end. That's where we just walked from. Just wanted to share these murals with you. Oh, he's looking in the gift store. Now look at some of these Arizona license plates. I like that one. It says, ah. Wow, look at these pretty quilts. And good to know information, there are public restrooms off to the left there, right by the gift shop. This plaza has, makes a big U. You can go in one end and out the other, or you can go straight ahead. If you have an RV, you don't want to go straight ahead because of that clearance. But you can go right back out that way, and there's free public parking all along this plaza. We're here by the old railroad station and visitor center looking out at the plaza area. Did you find the... Did you go in here, huh? Not yet. It's, it's not allowed yet. Uh, so Milo's, you go check it out. And Milo's not allowed in. Ajo Train Depot. Built 1916. Ahu and come to this location. Come over to the visitor center and off to the left, you're going to find a walking tour map that you may want to grab that gives you some history of the area. And in the train station, they have plenty of brochures and they have a gift shop in here as well. 
and someone in here to get the information. Couldn't remember whether it was an ice cream shop uh, in here or not, but Milo knows those words and he's looking for one, so I sure hope we find some ice cream. got some whipped cream. They didn't have ice cream, but they had whipped cream. So we did get a treat. They don't have strawberry banana smoothies, but we did get the large frappuccino. And Milo got his whipped cream. Oh, wow, that's good. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Ahu, Arizona. As always, if y'all like these videos, like and subscribe and I'll see you down the road.